e fez. Hey folks, welcome to another 3D printing Patreon preview. This week I've gathered images from 190 campaigns to share with you, as well as an additional 24 in the lightning round at the end. Quick content warning, some of these images contain pinup style models, and I've included a link in the description to a video about why that may need a content warning. That said, let's get started. First up, here are a couple SWAT members and a couple undead from KLT Studio. These lovely mechanized vehicles are from the Lalalian Industrial Complex. Dungeon Dog Miniatures has a half-orc barbarian this month. Here is a Mad Berserker from Sculpt Tuner. Horned Demon, Death Knights, and more from Two Moronic Miniatures. Here are a couple of zombies from The Surreal Factory. An Electromancer and a Tide Seeker from Mist Boy Mini. A good mix of fantasy, sci fi, and horror chibi from Claudio Cassini Art. Here are some Dread Hollows from Realm Gate Studio. Bikers and Bots from Zombie Smith Miniatures. Here's Quelmec the Ruthless from Unholy Trinity. Here is a collection of dungeon tiles from Florian Azar. Slug Empire and Mechanical Hive from Blue Art Miniatures. Here are Ships Crashed Upon the Rocks from 3D Dark Creations. Ivan has more ships and personnel for the defense of humanity. Arcanum Workshop has a Lovecraftian release this month. A Deadshot Hex Annihilator from Star Pharaoh Foundry, plus a look at their welcome pack. An army of dwarves with their king from War Miniatures. Work in progress sci fi mouse folk from Print, Paint, and Play. Space encounters, bikers, busts, minis, and more from Cybermyths. How much DACA is too much? Plus, a finished Gobbo Diner and Sneaky Boys Volumes 1 and 2 from Mecha Miniatures. I'm gonna call this one Dreams of a Teenage Cthulhu by Lost World Miniatures. Hell Creator has quite a few elementals in their May release. A trio of creepy creatures from Death Haven. Here is the latest sculpture from Kraken's Vault. Art of Mike has male warriors in armor and female warriors dressed as cheerleaders. Idun and an unlucky Loki from Cert Studio this month. My 3D Print Forge has some fun little gobbles with a walker. Where did they get a walker from? Maps and Monsters has alchemical golems. Vault Z is unleashing a torrent of zombies and survivors. This Egyptian warrior by 3DS of Sam is still a work in progress. The Portal of Moro has vampires this month. 
Here's some Austro-Hungarian Great War Soldiers from Red Dawn 3D Miniatures. Some nice looking sci-fi coming out of Renin 3D. Here's a Spirit Caller from Cult of Pickle. Beggars, Bandits, and Ne'er-Dwells from Polly Grimm this month. Don Whitaker has some great terrain and mushrooms for your next adventure in the Underdark. Savant 3D has a Sunken Ruin set. It's Ladies Month at Gang Fight Games with a good selection of well sculpted women. A few assorted chibis from Celia Miniatures. Dottie Dungeon and Intorney has this multi-story stronghold for you this month. Here's a water treatment plant from Thunderchrome. Some nice Eldar proxies from Drunk Magos Cellar. Here's a Jagdpanzer IV and a Harry Hawkins tank from Panzer Printer. Robots, geckos, bikers, and troopers from Red Nebular. Here are some Dutch houses without interior walls by Patrick Miniatures. Imitation of Life Miniatures has a man, his dog, a mystic warrior, and mutant infested ruins. The Dork Factory is doing Cyber Liches this month. Happy Duck 3D has this wonderful Canterferum Dread Pony. One fifty four has two Rock's Blood Trolls. Orc King Space War has Noise Marines this month. Here's a Plague Doctor from Jamie Corte and a problem likely bigger than they can handle. Two Gargoyle Studio has officers and a commissar for their Soldiers of Viria line. Here are Dark Elf Raptor Knights by Dragon's Lake Miniatures. Curse Luck Miniatures has multi-part Southern Tribes this month. Heroes and Executioners from Magori Miniatures. Here's Wolf Riders and a Goblin Shaman from Greenskin Miniatures. Mini Games Miniatures is working on Sisters of Battle and their war suits. Here's the Dark Secrets of Greywood Village by Drunken Dwarf. Here's the Great Wilderness Kobold Temple Pack from Nova Minis. This is the Austrian Army from Maddox Historical Miniatures. Here are a couple work in progress images from Fable Table. Here's a work in progress Smilodon from Labradorite Wolf. Five cultists and five modern day survivors from Colossal Miniatures. Across the Realms has the Horror of the Shadowspeak Fortress this month. Here is a preview of Pop Mini's fifth element themed May release. 
a merchant, a thief, and several mountain monsters from Moonglave Studios. Here's a mountain troll and a rabbit rider from Zandoria Studios. A squirrel ranger, hornbill sorcerer, and an ancient terror by Naga Minis. Here's an insidious wizard and brave knights of the empire by Mini Rat Studio. Here are some of Velrock Art's assorted May miniatures. This is 10mm Orc Infantry, a space gunslinger, and an alien ambassador from Knucklebones. Here are three bounty hunters and some animated armor from Role Playing Miniatures. This is Taisha, a Kirin, from Mojibake. Stormtroopers, a scoundrel, and a couple busts from Warblade Studios. Here's a tiefling bard and a goblin tinkerer from Heroes and Beasts Miniatures. Studio DR has the Black Queen, which might be a decent name for the Titan as well. These are the Specialists of the Golden Griffin from DM Stash. Some nice looking Realm of Eros Spearmen from Legend Builds. Village's Hope Miniatures has some demons and dragons to deal with this month. Some old statuary from 3D hexes, some of it seemingly infected with tentacles. This mansion is Argen Vosholt from Dragon Workshop. More elves and starting into the Dark Elves from Ilhadiel. Two cute little Cthulhus from Cursed Forge Miniatures. Here are three work in progress heroes from Fabio Shizo for May. Trains, planes, infantry, and a hoverbike new from Crucible of Games. Gloomy Kid Minis has three great looking female half giants. Cross Lances has five Imperial Guardsmen and three Goblins. Here's a partial look at what Orc King has available for May. Print and Paint Miniatures is taking us on a night hunt this month. Red Pilgrim Miniatures has three nice Space Marine proxies. Laser Forge Miniatures has a nice Hammernator this month. Matt Mason has three mechs for May, a Clint, a Conjurer, and a Corsair. Fleshcraft Studio has Spawns of the Great Rot 2, with a nice looking undead dragon. Void Realm Minis has Haster and his mount, the Beast of Carcosa, amongst others. Battle Yak Miniatures has Shark Zerkers, the second wave this month. Here's a living and a dead horseman from Caballero Miniatures.
DMG Minis has made this awesome Grey Knight Dreadnought. Sable Badger has fantasy and sci-fi buildings and scenery, and a bunch of game templates as well. Clay Beast Creations is doing Crypt Nightmares this month. Big Mr. Tong has sci-fi, fantasy, post-apocalypse, and ice hockey minis, amongst others. Creature Armory has a bunch of angry anthropomorphic warriors and a bit of cosmic horror to boot. Here's a Humvee with options for weapons from Albino Raven Minis. Wake's Emporium has small-scale orcs and Adelan infantry and cavalry. These are Nautiloids from Dark Foundry Miniatures Tidehunters line. Here are the three monthly busts from Rober Roland. This was the only teaser image I could find from Maddox for May. This is the Heretic Buster, a Terminun, Nun's Exosuit. Tiger Skull RPG is working on some Reaping Deathless this month. Warp Lock Miniatures has made their first ever dragon, and a couple of heroes to sneak in and steal his gold. Goonmaster Games has pet dragons and killer crocs. Onmyoji appears to be doing small scale plague nights this month. Imperitum Art has an alien jet this month, as well as some insect-infected warriors. Kyoshuneku Miniatures has Space Dwarves, Mining Dwarves, and Krishnev Kuzaks. Sacris Mundus has Augusta, the Holy City, some nice gothic city architecture. Here are four super orcs from Diwali Games. Here's a Scarecrow, Goblin's Chess Set, and Hobbits from Titan Troll. Also, a witch that wants to eat them. Code 2 has an entrance to the underground theme happening this May. Since last month, it seems Schlossbauer has switched to only making creatures from my nightmares. Bright Minis has a Lizardman, Knoll, and Kobold with Baba Yaga, as well as a Warforged and a Nothic. Here are some undead horses from Epic End Stuffs, as well as more Tortle Folk like usual. Black Remnant has a squad of Gungans, their leader, and a selection of other characters. 
Sarli Factory this month has some ruined stone bridges and drop pods, some embedded into the ground. Here is a Demon of Change from Alexei Konev, as well as a couple busts of marines and a dragon hunter. Last Sword Miniatures has Lucretia and her library, Keepers of the Flame, and Salamanders. Dice Heads has a Turtle Paladin, as well as some buildings, and a town on a turtle's back. That Evil One has a tank with weapon options, Jump Pack Marines, and Auxiliary Troopers. Manuel Boria has been working on Loxodons lately. Print Minis is doing Diesel Punk this month with Iron Guard, robots, tanks, modular soldiers, and more. Twin Goddess has an elf that is actually a silver dragon, a human witch doctor, satyr bard, rabbit folk monk, and a pangolin fighter. Here are some May Beasts from Edge Miniatures of the Cursed Dimension. Crippled God Foundry has called in the guards for their May release. Seb Miniatures has Modular Clones, Commander Cody, Kanan Jarrus, Grub Riders, and more. Great Grimoire is moving from April's undersea occult activity to something of a more clockwork nature. Dark Realms has completed work on the city of Aeterna and began construction on Buccaneers Bay. Signum Workshop's May release is titled Snails of the Abyss, Magically Mutated Dwarves Worshipping Voices from the Abyss. Sanix has a statue of Mad Max with a faithful little doggo. Prey Collection Studio has Spawn, Goliath, one of the gargoyles, and Tiger Claw. Duncan Shadow has Rat Folk, Owl Folk, lots of Fox Folk, Halflings, and an Undead Triceratops. Daybreak Miniatures has the Rawmen of Hawk and Jaka, brutally vicious beastmen with hound hogs protecting their precious portal. From Atlan Forge this month, we have a Silverback Dreadnought, the Dogs of War, and the Mages of Aegyptus. Gear Guts' mech shop has a bunch of shooty and flamey boys with a bunch of flyboys and chonky trucks to back them up.
Masterwork Tools has some large paved floor tiles and curved concave risers with stairs. New models from Yasashi Hyojin Studio include a Drake, Spectator, Coyote Necromancer, and Animated Armor. Here are some modular Knights of Virtue from Monstrous Encounters, as well as a Bard character. The Kingdom of Coralem from 3D Art Digital includes Merfolk and Mersquid, as well as some big underwater beasties. No Hanzakis this month from Cobra Mode, as we're traveling under the Reed Sea to meet some new creatures of the world. Print Your Monsters has their mutant Pumpkins Attack this month. Raven Twin Miniatures has 8 centaurs this month, as well as 3 razor tusks and a cyclops. From Comet Lord Miniatures, we have Artorius, the Tyrant Paladin, the World Eater Worm, the Blood Pact Fiend, Artashir, Dragonborn Wizard, and the Apex Chimera. The May release from Vevictus Miniatures is titled Western Fantasy, great western minis with a touch of the undead and other fantasy elements. Gamescape 3D has several little village workshops including woodcutting, tanning, and ceramics with a few small buildings to go with. Here are some archers and axe throwers from Asgard Rising Miniatures. Rocket Pig Games' release of Monsters This May includes a Scorpion Pharaoh, a Desert Abomination, a Tomb King Destroyer, a Guardian of Time, and more. The Printing Goes Ever On presents Chapter 10, Death of a Hero. Half-Orc Scouts and Fighters have caught up and slain the Noble Barazan. Broken Anvil Monthly has been working on the graveyard shift to provide you these 23 models of hunters, hunted, and graveyard scenery. Six new busts from Photos Mint this month, including the Scarlet Witch, Thanos, Captain America, Spawn, Predator, and an Owlbear. The new fantasy football team from Punga Miniatures this month is the Cursed Crew, Sunken Mutant Pirates.
Bonnie, the badass Claymore of the Night, slices open zombies while also slicing open men's hearts. The Dragon's Rest has a good selection of stair tiles, as well as some tiles for their Goulberg project. Printed Obsession presents the Deity Fight Club, where the apparent first rule is don't wear fine clothes in the splash zone. Bite the Bullet is doing tieflings this month, with Monk, Alchemist, and Druid classes, as well as pinup versions of the ladies. Forest Dragon is adding to their Chivalric Knights this month, with the King himself atop a Mighty Hippogriff, as well as Elite Knights, a Mounted Hero, and a Trebuchet with Crew. From Highlands Miniatures this month, we get Grail Knights. Only the bravest and strongest of Highborn Knights wearing their influential family crests on their magnificent helms. The three sets from STL Miniatures this month are a Wizard set, a Cleric set, and a Graveyard set, each with minis and suitable terrain pieces. Mia Kay has finally completed her two-month-long Viking collection, and they look great with a shield maiden, warriors, a shaman, blacksmith, and a bear. Clay Cyanide Miniatures has Legends and Gods of China this month, with a nice Azure Dragon, a Mulan Bust, Wu Kong, Archers, Spearmen, Ballista Operators, and more. Hapsikel's first release is Aliens vs. Humans with a walker, APC, and a bunch of different alien species. Their second release is Renkaku Cyber Samurai, plus a few odd cyberpunk models. May is Fantasy Month from 3D Art Guy. He's got both male and female barbarians, as well as a vampire noble and a demon spider. Unit 9 is releasing Voodoo Posse and Metal Slammer Gangsters into the streets. Hopefully those security drones can protect the sleepless citizens. White Werewolf Tavern has a Heroic Medusa miniature, as well as a sea monster, several Nagas, including one as a bust, and a Naga Guardian. Part 1 of Best Yarn Miniatures May release is titled The Swamp Scrapers of Alstein, Seven Scary Looking Warriors.
The Sands of Time from RNS Studio is an Eastern themed collection of creatures, undead, and character models. From one gold piece for me, we have a smuggler and their crew, plus a couple feral halflings from the look of them. Anvil Digital Forge has Drop Troops, Recon Force, with modular soldiers, an ogre battlesuit, a few characters, and some nice bits of terrain. Lost Kingdom Miniatures has Kaguya, Moonlight Priestess, Mihikso, Beastmaster, Shadow Knights, Night Elf War Chariots, and a Night Elf Repeater Bow. Gomex sci-fi minis this month look like Eldar proxies, and the fantasy ones lean more towards warp demons. From Dragon Trapper's Lodge this month, for trappers we get a Tortoon Druid, Doc Rooney, a Swinin, Otis the Hawk, and whatever Gnarly Joe is. For creatures, there's a Swamp Giant, Glow Hoppers, a Plod Trotter, Skunk Apes, and a Merc Stalker. Also a Giant Snapper with a Shack on its back. A new look from Epic Miniatures this month. No change in the quality or quantity though. The first set, titled The Dark Swamp, starts with Swamp Witches and a Mace Snail, followed by Lamia, Dwarf Cyclopses, and several sizes of Black Dragon. Then we have Grizzly Bears, some wearing armor, Green Knights, Frog and Toad Folk, as well as a Frog Behemoth. There's Swamp Cats, a Crocodile Tribe, Cockatrices, a fungus infested treant, and barbarians. The second set is called Psionic Overlords and strays a little into the cosmic horror with a brain devourer dragon, a few dark elves, a mind overlord and his nautilus ship, portal folk, a horror eel, giant moth titan and larvae, mother brain, slave rebels, psionic tyrants, doppelgangers, a worm abomination and tentacle rocks, bat bears, carrion bugs, intellect crawlers, and mind eaters. One Page Rules is continuing their Duchies of Vinci and Alien Hive lines this month. It appears as though the old master has taken to the field himself. Hopefully his automata can protect him.
Cast and Play's Ancient Woodland collection is full of fake creatures for your players to encounter, with some nice tiles and terrain to set the scene. New models from the Maker's Cult since last month include Feudal Guard Sergeants, a Cybertechnic Priest, Iron Hive Hunters, Valor Core Engineers, a Whale Shark Transport, and more. Mini Monster Mayhem is doing the Aspects of Terra this month, chock full of Ginny and living elementals of all sorts. I like the Lava Tortoise most of all. Cyberforge Miniatures wants to send you on a space odyssey with crewmen, monsters, monster hunters, mechs, and more. From Lord of the Print this month, we have The North. With multiple poses and sword options, there is Fafnir, Storm Giants, Barbarians, Behemoth, and even the mighty Jormungandr. Heroes Infinite by Raging Heroes has the Gods and Heroes of Egypt this month. Whether you like historical games, fantasy, steampunk, or sci-fi, Egypt can find a place in most of them. As usual, there's a massive centerpiece and several squads of troops to do the bidding of the gods. From MZ4250 this month, we start with several Kuatoa, there's a Caustic Slime, a Tsukora Quarry from Eberron, Lamia, Lizard Folk, Five Lycanthropes, the Goose Hydra, Manticores, Medusa, Mephit, Merfolk, and a couple more patron requests, a Hellpug and an Undead Noble. Arch Villain Games has a huge release this month with their Kazad Steelbreaker Clan. There are Warriors, Ram Riders, Fire Spitters, Engineers, Geomancers, the Monometronauts, Worm Riders, and a giant Warbeast mount for King Throg Steelhammer. Titan Forge Miniatures has a Pit Fighter Arena for May, along with a good collection of Pit Fighters and some 5th edition content. The two I like the most are the Armored Owl Bear, and one of the Titans of Adventure is a lovely tiefling bard with what appears to be a hurdy gurdy. And finally, from Artisan Guild, we have the Doomlock Flameseeker set, 
Dark Flame Dwarves to fill your needs. Are they Berserkers, Durger, or Chaos Dwarves? Maybe even the small Fire Giants? As usual, there's a decent mix of male and female warriors, along with male heroes and a female pinup. Okay, on to the lightning round. Sark's Foundry. Your Neighbor Knight Minis. Homunculus Creations. Blue Wyvern. B Team Minis. The Nalon Realm. Sculptor's Cove Skaven Trader 3D Print Games Jeremy Smith The Owl Guardian's Destiny Miniatures Blueprint Geek Undead Miniatures Print Workshop Miniatures for You Sol Prima Miniatures JG Sculpts Eldritch Tabletop Stormcrow Blast Cool MT Forge Legion Miniatures Warehouse Workshop that's all for this week. If you enjoy these videos, consider liking and subscribing or supporting me on Patreon. Check back every week for Print and Paint Kickstarter Countdowns, and thanks for watching.